Hi everyone. For this interview, I invited Miss Palawan Universe 2023, and she will represent the province in Miss Universe Philippines 2024. Please welcome Raven Doctor. Hi Raven, kumusta? Hi Derek, okay naman po. Kamusta po kayo? <laughs> Eto, tatatapos lang dun sa gout. <laughs> anyway, Raven, thank you for saying yes to this. And it's a Sunday. Uh, alam ko lahat tayo dapat nagpapanood ng Sunday. Pero thank you pa din. Okay? Thank then you Rick po. Then Raven, maaga ka nagsimula sa pageant kasi. Di ba? Sa pageant field, no? Para lang sa okay. ano sa kapakanan ng ating mga manonood. Pwedeng paki-specify yung mga pageant achievements mo. Simula no nagsimula ka. Okay, so magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Raven Doctor. I'm 18 at galing po ako sa Palawan. So, um, I started getting serious in the world of pageantry just last year lang po. It was Mr. and Miss Palawan State University. It was a pageant in our school. It was my first time. I didn't know how to do pasarela and everything. I landed in... um um. <laughs> in third runner up and then after that i represented my school in miss palawan universe 2023 in which i won the title of which miss palawan universe 2023 po and then after that recently lang it was miss rotary 2023 in which i landed naman po in top 10 so yes yeah. yes pero may nakita ko sa ano mo sorry ha ini stop ko yung fb ni mami mo yung ano may nakita ko parang bullying bit ka pa no na may corona ano yung sa school <laughs> oh po iba na yung pinaka pinaka first parang sa school sa school pala yun ano yun um, Miss United it, Nations Miss United Nations sa, sa Cebu po gandang Pinay gandang ah, Pinay 2015 ah, okay. ganda yung Pinay 2015 first time ko magsali ng pageant nun talaga as in parang many many pageant lang kasi siya sa school tapos uh-huh. parang ayaw pa ako pasalihin ng nanay ko doon sabi niya tika naman naman nanalo dyan <laughs> <laughs> Favorite yun po. Sorry to God, they ended up winning. <laughs> Raven, lu- lumaki ka sa Puerto Princesa, di ba? Ano sa yes, tingin mo yung, yung naging edge mo sa mga kaklase mo, mga kaibigan mo, uh, dun sa school na pinag-aralan mo? Ano yung naging edge mo? 
Well, lagi po kasi sabi ng tao, it, it's my height daw, because it's not every day that you see a 5'11", 70 years old, walking around and joining pageants in in the province of Palawan. Kasi um, my height is kind of unusual there, kasi nga, parang, syempre, 17 pa lang and you're 5'11". But people think that it's it's my edge in terms of joining pageants. Pero feeling ko, like in my part, I feel like it's not just the height, I feel like it's also my mentality. Because my, my dad instilled the mentality in me, which is a lion mentality, he told me, sabi niya sa akin dati, sabi niya, just like a lion, you don't have to be the fastest, you don't have to be the strongest, you don't have to be the biggest, you just have to have that mentality. Kasi yung lion daw, hindi daw siya yung pinakamalaki, hindi daw siya yung pinakamabilis, pero he thinks that he's unstoppable, and because of that, all the animals in the jungle also think that he's unstoppable. And he's so I think that And he's the king oh, of the jungle, di ba? Oh, the king of the jungle. So sabi niya, if I have that personality, I can conquer anything. <laughs> well, tama naman. Tama naman yung sinabi. Alam mo, one thing nice with you, Raven. Pag ikaw sinasabihan ka, talagang inalagay mo sa puso mo at sa utak mo. Di ba? And uh, oh. nakakatulong naman, di ba? Like, lalo na galing sa parents Super mo. Di ba? Galing sa parents. Yes. Oh. Tapos ikaw ngayon ang reigning Miss Palawan Universe at magko-compete ka sa nationals next year 2024. Yes. <laughs> ano kaya ang madadala mo sa table para talagang masungkit mo yung title na Miss Universe Philippines? Uh well, I'm 18 and that's the youngest to compete in Miss Universe Philippines or Miss Universe po in general. Uh-huh. But Although others think that it's a weakness kasi nga syempre when you're 18, syempre lock ka pa ng experiences in life. So, tingin ko, it's it's actually my edge or a strength in my part kasi I have fresh ideas which I can bring to the table, genuine advocacy which I carry, which um a lot of kabataan can relate to. Um, it doesn't it doesn't just talk about education and child support. It talks about the mental well-being talaga of the children that are suffering in rural areas, especially in Palawan. So I think that um with my fresh ideas and a uh, fresh ideas of an 18-year-old girl, it's really something that the Miss Universe organization should watch out. <laughs> Ayun. So ano ba yung ano? Ano ba yung katangian mo? Kung bakit ka talaga nanalo bilang Miss Palawan Universe? For me, direct, it's 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 really my determination. Because though others may think it's it's a bit cliche, but when you join pageant, po kasi, you will really need that because you will hear a lot of voices, not just your inner voice, but also voices outside. It may be your friends, your family member, it may be constructive criticism or destructive. But once you're determined, you'll enjoy everything. And I I hope that yun yung nakita ng mga judges while I was competing, that I was really enjoying everything. I was determined not just to win the crown, but of course to make my mom proud, to make make my friends proud and to make my school proud as well. So that determination for me drove me a long way in the competition. Like when I was in top 10, sabi ko, oh my god, I'm in the top 10. I wasn't pressuring myself. I wasn't sab- hindi ko talaga sinabi na oh, kailangan top 3 kailangan manalo ako dito. Ini-enjoy ko lang talaga kaya nung magkahawa kami ng hands ni Miss Nara nung final 2, sabi ko, nakangiti lang ako, sabi ko, buti naman, nag-first runner-up ako. <laughs> Hindi ko talaga in-expect naman na nato. Ay, Akala ko first runner-up. Pa- Akala mo first runner-up ka lang. Uh, uh, but, and, uh, like when I joined the pageant, I didn't expect anything. Like anything, I didn't expect anything. So I will, I will enjoy this, and no matter where it takes me, I will be so grateful. So I was holding her hands. I go, oh my god, thank you, Lord, first runner. Just Mario sip naman. But 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 when I won, I go, oh my god, I won, I won, I won. But then I I realized also that you don't have to pressure yourself in everything that you do. Because as, as, as cliche as it may sound, sa aming kabataan, ang lagi namin sasabi, you only live once. And sometimes, we end up, um, it, 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 it's ending in something na parang good then. Kasi when you believe in that motto, you're, you'll enjoy everything in life in a, good, in a positive way. It depends naman on you. It's a case-to-case basis. But me, I was enjoying everything that competition. So after the competition, I had no regrets at all. And every competition that I go to, I always do my best with determination, of course. But I'm I'm always happy kung ano yung um, kung saan ako mat, um, masasop or hanggang saan lang because I'm, I'm always grateful for the experience. 
But of course, kailangan reach for the stars, di ba? Reach for the stars. <laughs> di ba? Ganun yun. Anyway, uh, Raven, I'm sure may mga tinitingala ka mga beauty queens natin. Pwede ka mag-specify kung sino at bakit siya. Oh, definitely Tia Wirtz bag. I remember she won 2015. Mm-hmm. And 2015, yun din pinakita mong post sa Facebook <laughs> ng mom. Yung sinasabi mo kanina. So, di ba nga po, I, ayaw ko pa sa rinang mom ko, but I really wanted to join that pageant. So, I didn't have any gown or anything. And that time, the Miss Universe the Miss Universe 2015 just ended and Pia was declared as a winner. And so, he wore this blue gown, right? Uh-huh. Ngayon, Nung wala, wala na akong gown, sabi ng isang teacher doon, ah, I, I have this blue dress, ganun, pwede mo try. So ako naman, pag suot ko, kahit hindi naman talaga siya same design ng gown ni Pia, I was imagining that I was Pia where it's back. So <laughs> naglalakad ako doon ng suot-suot yung heels ng nanay ko. And yung gown na hindi naman kasama, parang hindi naman talaga kasi design ni Pia where it's back. Iniisip ko, I'm Pia where it's back, I'm Pia where it's back, I'm Pia where it's back. And then nung, and thankfully I won because of that feeling. <laughs> I was was pretending oh, I was no. Pia. Oh, po, and then after that, I miss the power of the mind, diba? Oh, po. And then after that, po, I realized that I really admired Pia growing up na because he's she's just so open. She's she, she's very relatable. She's not afraid to show her emotions, her experiences in life, which really empowered me as well as a kid and as now uh, a a growing beauty queen in this industry. It 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 reminds me that every day you need to be gentle with yourself. You need to be okay in what's what's ever happening, and you really don't know the other side of the story. So you need to choose kindness. It's it's one of the things that I took away from Queen Pia. So. She's my Lord, oh, 18 pa lang po yan ha. Look at paano sumagot. <laughs> diba nakakaturete na? So, humanda na lang next year sa Miss Universe. Labanan talaga. <laughs> diba? Anyway, baby, 18 ka pa lang, pero 5'11 ka na. Tangkan, going on 6 feet. Diba? Asset yan sa modeling. Gusto mo ba i-pursue ang modeling career? Definitely po. Because when I was younger, a little sorry na naman. Very mabilis lang. Oh, yeah. I really wanted to be a, a, a fashion designer because I grew up in front of a television. So I was a big fan of Asia's Next Top Model, the fashion show I watch in Vogue. So I, I wanted to be part of that industry as well. So for the longest time, I wanted to be a fashion designer because I wanted to take part of, the, yeah, of that industry. But when I was growing up, I said, oh, no, this is really not for me. I'm not, I'm not good at drawing. So so I the dream. But then I realized that I, I still want to be part of that of that industry i find oh. it fascinating not just glamorous but I, I i find it interesting and i hope that i could take part on it someday oo nga oo nga kasi sayang ang tangkad tapos ang ang figure talagang pang modelo you know uh, you'll be an asset to the industry sigurado yan asset ka sa amin wow. kaya pag, pag pag butihan mo at pagtulungan natin yan baby uh, 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 <laughs> pabuti na lang nandito ka na sa Maynila. Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> yes po. Pabuti na lang. <laughs> meron, ka bang, meron ka bang ina-idolize na model whether local or international? Bakit siya? Kung meron mo. <laughs> yes, there is. I I, I do um, idolize a lot of models, especially like what I've said. I grew up in front of a television watching models and fashion designers. Um, but there is one particular model that really caught my attention, mainly because it was my dream and my best friend's dream. It it was the first Filipino to ever walk down the Victoria's Secret fashion ah, show. It's it's, it's Kelsey Merritt. Yeah. <laughs> it's Kelsey Merritt. So I remember po. Me and my best friend would walk down the street of Puerto Princesa. Tapos 14 pa lang kami noon, 14 years old, 13 if I'm not mistaken. So people would look at us kasi nga naglalakad kami na para kaming supermodel. Eh mga neneng pa lang kami noon. So <laughs> so alam ko yung mga tao nakatingin sa amin, kami dalawa posing posing talaga kami doon sa ano, we were pretending na I'm Kelsey Merritt and she's Gigi Hadid. So it was really a fun oh, memory yeah, to look back Gigi on. Hadid, Kelsey Merritt Si yeah. Jenner, di ba? Yes, well, it's a good memory. <laughs> oh, God. A funny naman. one. Favor naman, Raven. Favor naman. Kausapin mo na may mga viewers natin, mga bata, na may pangarap 
na maging beauty queen o model pagdating ng panahon. Talk to them. Anong masasabi mo sa kanila? Kids, wag na wag kayong matakot mangarap. I know it's hard. Minsan ang hirap talaga. At kung titingin tayo sa paligid natin, There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of things that will keep us behind, telling us that we're not good enough, whether that be our economic status or our talents that we have. But you should always remember that everything starts with a single imagination. And once you know how to imagine, then you can do it. You can because you, you would. And, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have this, you have to have that, you have to be perfect. You just have to be you. You just have to pursue whatever it is on your imagination. I started out in a mere imagination too. Ate Raven, ako, I started out as a girl who had no dreams at all. I started imagining when I was in grade seven, and right now I'm living my dream as the Miss Universe Palawan. And that's because I started imagining. So if you find it hard to believe in yourself, then believe in your imagination. Steve Harvey said, do not underestimate the power of imagination. And whatever you have, yung dreams na meron kayo, it is put there for a reason. Do not let anything stops you. You only have one shot in life. Isang beses lang kayo magubuhay. So make the most out of it. Make sure that it's something that you won't regret in the near future. Make sure that you would enjoy it through thick and thin. Ay, well, girls, ha, yung mga may gustong tumulad kay Raven, ha, FYI, isa sa mga premyo niya, lupa. Di ba? <laughs> di ba? Interto princesa. Lupa. Di ba? Binigyan ka. Yes, po. Di ba? Imagine, yes, po. dahil lang sa pangarap niya, sa kanyang kagustuhan, di ba? Sa kanyang dream, di ba? Ayan, nabigyan siya ng mga ganyan. At marami pang blessings na darating dyan. Kasi bata pa to si Raven, marami pang ma-achieve ito. Kaya yung mga bata dyan na nunood, eh pakinggan nyo lang si Raven sa mga sinasabi niya. Kasi yun lang gabay niya eh, kung bakit narating niya na ngayon, yung narating niya na. Okay? Raven, sa mga ginagawa mo, no? sino ang masasabi mong sandalan? Pamilya? o kaibigan? Oh, it's hard to choose between those two. <laughs> Definitely both. But um, siguro, Derek, it's it's really my, my, my dad who, who passed away two years ago because of cancer. He's, originally, it, it was his dream for me to be in, in Miss Universe. And it was his dream for me to be a Miss Universe Palawan. And I, I laughed at that joke when I was younger because hindi po talaga ako matangkad ng bata ako. Maliit lang ako na petit. So sabi ko that it's, it's, it's nearly impossible for me to be able to achieve that in the future. So I might not go for it and may go for other career na lang. But it's so ironic because two years after he died, I was declared as Miss Palawan Universe. And every step I took as a stage when I was competing po, I, I really said, Pa, this is for you. I was in backstage. It was my turn to walk. Sabi ko, Pa, this is for you. Pa, this is for you. I was in top three. I was in top two. Sabi ko, Pa, this is for you. Pa, this is for you. Whatever happens. Because I knew that if he's here, if he's watching me, I knew he would be so proud of me. No matter what I do in life, no matter what endeavors I put myself into. So, in everything that I do, It's it's really him. It's because of him and oh, it's man, for man. him. And, at ang bata pa, ang bata mo pa nung nawala siya, di ba? Two years ago yeah. lang, di ba? Anyway, yes, so. mabuti na lang si mami nandiyan to really support you. Talagang really nandiyan, you know, very supportive si mami. Napaka, napaka bait na nanay. Okay. Talagang siya pa inaalala niya lang yung, very. yung anak niya, di ba? Anak yun eh, hindi pa pwedeng mawala. So, kaya natutuwa naman ako sa presence ni Mami kasi si Mami very friendly, di ba? Hindi naman so masarap ka usap kaya ako hindi rin ako talagang I don't really mind na nandiyan si Mami kasi masarap ka kwentuhan, di ba? Para oh. minsan minsan pag nagsasalita ako sa kanya, parang ikaw din ka usap ko, nakikinig din. <laughs> anyway, She's actually here po. Hi, hi Mami. <laughs> Hello daw po. <laughs> anyway, Raven, ngayong nandito ka na sa Metro Manila. Graduate ka na ng senior high, di ba, sa Palawan, sa Puerto Princesa. Ano ba ang plan mo sa pag-aaral mo dito? 
Well, of course, I plan to um to finish my school and college and then hopefully proceed to law school if if that's the will of the Lord. But I also plan to do other endeavors here in Manila, like for example, starting my modeling career because mm -hmm. I really want to go to to pursue that path. However, I, I haven't started anything yet. So hopefully mm -hmm. here I get to start to start it and also I'm I'm also open to opportunities not just in in modeling re related but also me as a beauty queen how I can how, how can I grow as a person and how can I also still give back to my community even if I'm now in Metro Manila not in Palawan paano ho kung paano ko may offer sa inang hosting I'm, I'm sorry ko hosting ng pageant Host. Hosting, yes, but that would be amazing. I love hosting, so I mean, oh. it, it, it means speaking in front of a lot of people. So, Kasi ma why ma not? Ma magandang command mo ng ano, is English language. At the same time, maganda yung boses mo. So, possible, eh, di ba? So, yes. wag mo rin isara yung door mo doon. Di ba? Baka pwedeng mag-host-host ka habang nag-aaral. Di ba? Pandagdag ano din yun. You know, pabaon. <laughs> Pang Hopefully. ano. Hopefully. Pang shopping. <laughs> anyway, Raven, pag nabigyan ka ng opportunity na magtrabaho abroad, no? kunwari, biglang kumatok, kumatok si, si Lady Luck, no? na biglang sabihin, eh, halika na, magtrabaho ka na dito sa bansang ito. Saan mo gusto at bakit? It has always been my dream. New York City had always been my dream. However, um, I've been I've been told a lot of times too by my classmates that it's 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 nearly impossible because it's such a big city and it's a city of dreams for everyone, and it's it's a dream. It's a dream for everyone, especially my best friend. Sorry. Oh. But it, it had always been my dream. So if if ever God will give me that opportunity to work in New York as as a model or as or as someone who works professionally in her career in communication, that would be majestic and just marvelous <laughs> in Raven, my part. Bata ka pa, marami ka pang pwedeng ma-achieve. No? Marami ka pang pwedeng ma-achieve. Alam mo, lalo na sa modeling, the younger for us, the better. Kasi ibig sabihin, patagal ka pa sa industriya. No, ang problema kasi sa modelo yung mga skin, yung buhok, yung ngitin, importante yun. Eh, you, meron kang luxury. 18 years old ka pa lang. May luxury ka pa ng mga yun. Nakastretch pa yung skin, maganda pa yung ngitin, maganda ang buhok. Definitely magkakaroon ka ng space. Magkakaroon ka ng space. Kung hindi man, kung hindi man sa abroad, dito muna simulan. Pero kung meron talagang pumatok, di ba? I mean, hindi natin pwedeng pigilan yung, yung faith eh. Kasi baka yun ang faith mo eh. Di ba? Na mapunta doon. Di ba? Kung saan man. Uh, hindi pa natin masabi kung saan. But of course, malahamabang proseso yan. Habang nandito Raven, habang libre, siguro kailangan mag-photoshoot na mag-photoshoot. Oo. Mag-photoshoot. Importante yun. Importante yun, Raven. Lagi dapat updated ang iyong photos every three months. Kailangan maganda, matino, maganda ang styling. Madali naman manghiram ng mga damit. Eh. Di ba? Basta importante lang, photoshoot lang ng photoshoot. Okay? Sa ganong bagay, pag-usapan na lang natin yan privately. Okay? So, so Raven, thank you very much. Sunday po thank ngayon. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you so much. It's an honor. Kini-interview ko po, ko po siya on a Sunday. Eh, dapat rest day ng lahat, di ba? Pero nagpa-unlock pa rin si Raven. Napakabait na bata. Ako na po mag-vouch. Ako na po mag-vouch. Mabait na bata. At dun sa mga kasamahan ko sa industriya na nakakapanood nito, hindi po problema tong batang ito. So, nakita nyo naman ang itsura, di ba? Maganda. Ano, so, pwede natin gamitin sa mga photoshoot, sa mga fashion shows. That's Raven Doctor, who is now based here in Metro Manila. So, pwede na siyang magamit for fashion shows, sa mga photo shoots. So, baka mamaya meron pang mga endorsements. Bakit hindi? Di ba? Basta, uh, ganyan ka lang, Raven. Huwag magwabago. Papakabait lang talaga. Okay? Yes. Yes, Paul. Yes, Derek. Okay. Thank you very much.
Thank you po. It was really an honor to be here with you in this uh -huh. interview. Sige, sige, Raven. Thank you. Thank you po.